Welcome back to <laughs> FTA and Mikonos Fan All Stars Gaming. I'm yeah. Mikonos Fan. I'm FTA, and welcome to our uh, let's play of the Me Channel. I mean, just kidding. No. Ah, mate, journey of dreams. Look, this... there it is. Yeah, <sighs> uh, this is another one of our uh, Patreon uh, requested uh, games, and again, to uh, request this, we go to Patreon.com/ftcr. And join at the uh, ten dollar or more level. You get to request a uh, All Stars Gaming game for us to uh, play. And every time we've, every time everyone, everyone has selected one, we go back and select some more. So we should also clarify: if you pledge for that month and it takes us a long time to get to it, we'll still count that. You don't have to be pledged the entire time until we make it. Yes, we should probably clarify that at some point. Yes, once you've once that's gone through and Patreon shits itself, great. <laughs> We'll have it locked down, or we'll remember. But if, if, this if, one comes to us, by the way, from Ryan, aka Smash Mania. Thank you very much. Hey, I I've actually been hoping we could live LP this yes, for some time, yeah, and I'm hoping this is like our test run because this game, fuck it. Well, fuck most of it. <laughs> Great intro, though. Really, really pretty intro. Yeah, I mean, this is um, you know obviously it's it's the sequel to the Sega cult classic Nights into Dreams. LP on screen now. Please click. When you're done with this video, if I remember to do that, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, Knights was a big um, cult classic character. You know, one of uh, Sega's most recognizable characters. It is the one game uh, Nintendo legend Shigeru Miyamoto said that he wished he'd worked on. Which coming from Miyamoto, that's pretty fucking high praise. After playing the game myself, I was like, really? You gotta get some fucking better standards, Miyamoto. I remember you, I remember you joking. Let's guess so we can make it good. <laughs> Yay, treasure, I guess. Oh, Riala. Oh, it's Kingdom Hearts. Dude, <laughs> nice. Well, when did Riala get buff? He got buff. Yeah, they uh, they kind of touched up some of the characters, let's say. And Riala, he's a little swole right now. Oh, oh, I hate this game, but I can't deny. This makes me feel like this is nice. Like, this is like really pretty, acrobaty, flippy bullshit. Good shit right here. Yeah, this this looks like a uh, Sonic Team intro cutscene. Yeah, much better than anything the game will offer. Let's say this is the last uh, game made by uh, Sonic Team USA. Their prior game before this was a little game gem called Shadow the Hedgehog. Let's say, um, and this is the last game they made before they shut Sega down. Sega was Good. like, well, "Let's bring you guys back home." Uh, don't, uh, no reason, <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Uh, this launched either at the end of 07 or beginning of uh, 08. GameCube controller apparently not going to work for me, so let's... Yeah, we uh, are using this on a Wii U. We'll do the remote nunchuck get up. So you own this. Um, you've, uh, let's say, never played it judging from this. No, it was... Wise choice. It was one of the things where, um, as people may have known, I've said before in, like, House of the Dead, certain games I will be like, at some point I'll do something with this. Uh, this I saw I think you and I were in a buybacks and I saw ah. it cheap and I was like we've talked about it fuck it we'll do it at some point sometimes when you see a game real cheap you're like I know I won't see it that cheap again so I'll make this investment fuck make this investment now no, this is going to be really funny look they let you use an at symbol isn't that funny <laughs> confirm oh okay Greece gotta, gotta wrap my homeland Greece gotta wrap my home yeah sure Greece the planet <laughs> uh Whoever that is. That one? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> quit. 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 I hate this point of control. So, God, look at how jittery that is. This game, I... <sighs> oh, look, it came by Sonic. It is gloves. Thanks, Sonic. Those are... I wonder if these are just assets they had for um, Secret Rings or shit. I, I wouldn't like, be surprised. Like, oh, it's a two-player mode. Uh, we won't be doing anything with that, but it's yeah. two-player mode. Yeah, there was online for this game. You could race people, and you could take each other's chow. I mean, Itopians. Yeah. Go to their gardens. and That's the main reason I wanted this. I was running a Sonic or a chow fan community. Oh, my God. You, you say that? You fucking nerd. Um, and I was like, well, I better do some research on Sonic teams making chow for the first time in a few years. I don't remember who has the better f stage set up. Let's go with... Uh, boy, this is kind of creepy, isn't it? Just watching children in their bed. Yeah, I didn't want to leave that screen. <laughs> so you, you still get some CG throughout the game, you know? It's... 
Like we'll, the original. We'll get some daddy issues here. Is that, is that the guy from the original? He looks like he has purple hair and he's mm. playing sports. I'd hope, but probably not. You can unlock the original characters if you collect everything in the game. Okay. That's a nice... I wish you could do it before then, but you get a nice... These kids seem to nice be a lot... Because the ones in the original seem to be like... I, I always, based on their designs, they, they look to me to be like 13, 14. Yeah. These look like... This kid looks like he's 8 or like 10. 8, 9, yeah. Oh. Kingdom Hearts. He's about to fall into the water. It's fine. Riku! I have to go to work. Don't miss me too much. Why is he wearing a bum bag for? Uh, it's, it's a, you know, Sonic Team. That design could be from Kingdom Hearts because it's terrible. <laughs> it's, well, yeah, obviously. What is, why would you? Why would you go and play football and wear that fucking my typical fly over? <laughs> what is it, life preserver? You going on the ocean, boy? Oh, Daddy left me. This is where ha, 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 ha. <laughs> your dad doesn't love you. <laughs> <laughs> we just spliced in that Austin Powers song. Daddy, <laughs> daddy wasn't there. <laughs> so, you know, it gets kind of a little genuinely creepy here. It's a little fucked up. But he finds light at the end of the tunnel. <gasps> oh, he's embrac- good Sonic Team games. <laughs> Save me. He's embracing death. I put it into that. Please take me now. <laughs> Don't make me play this game. Oh, heck. heck so, yeah. if this was Night's One, that was all the exposition you'd really need. Or get, let's say. Maybe not Ooh, need. Oh, those models. So, but this was Sonic Team USA, around the time of Shadow the Hedgehog. And you will be able to fucking tell from these character models. Oh my god. <sighs> so, we're at the gates of hell. Um, as you can tell, Kingdom Hearts jump, pretty much, actually, KH1. Well, you know, the, the original had insane jumping for the main characters. Yeah, you would hope a sequel would maybe improve. But, it uh, looks like, though, there's more focus on the kids. Because the, 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 that throne thing you had. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to that, let's say. Maybe that's one of the reasons why uh, this one, not such a classic, let's say. Oh, my God. I hate everything about how Sonic Team did their shit back around this time. Oh. What's up with that frame rate? Yeah, so that owl apparently quite taxing on this game's engine. <laughs> great, great character, of course. Well, you know what's funny? That you, like, you, can, you can tell the individual like little feathers, feathers. are moving. That looks better than the werehog does. <laughs> um, they in, both look In awful. terms of this hair, there's like, those things are moving. The werehog is just like static. Like not I, a lot of his stuff I moves. Guess it just looks really bad in motion here. Yeah, um, oh my god. So if you ever wanted a Knights game to have Sonic Team New Age style storytelling, Knights Journey of Dreams, probably worth a look. Oh my god. If you're, god. let's say, inclined to enjoy how the original left things to your interpretation, fill in the gaps, toss this game to a creek. That, that bum bag looked like Chaos's face. <laughs> Yellow oh eyes. God, it does. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh. All right. This game's a little better. That's fine. This, with the audio, barely makes sense. Without the audio, looks like she's pra- it's practicing a certain uh, act. Yeah, I'm so I'm gonna assume there was there was music coming out of that. Knight says like a flute kind of invisible flute motif. Yeah, for some oh, yeah, reason, yeah. It, it pops up a lot in the music. It's cool. I don't like the uh, the costume change. I prefer the original. It's a little. I get what they're going for. I I think it's okay. That ass though. Good ass. <laughs> I like I like the simplicity of the original knight's design. Uh, you know what I like because it was all purple. It like it looked cleaner. Yeah. You know. Have you ever thought about flying? We're getting a great line coming up, by the way. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> duel, <laughs> do a uh, lies, asshole. Who? Oh, the owl is getting ass. <laughs> the owl is getting horny on his mane. Mm. Those, oh my god, that model is creepy as fuck. <laughs> He's horny on me. The eyes follow you around wherever you go. So Fuck um, you, knights, you <laughs> piece, fucking piece of shit. Knights. That, is, is this going to another cutscene? Oh, you bet your ass they did. That was, that, this is like fucking 06 <laughs> level of what was the point? Walk four Face, s- get fucked. Walk four steps forward and duel lies with me. Oh. That looked a little weird. That, I'm not it was not just me that looked oddly inappropriate <laughs> first I should tell you about Mindsight oh my god they're gonna make me do this look we, we that's my Mindsight 
this is very receptive. I cannot hit the center of the screen very well. Uh, that's great. Um, so I forget they wasn't it in terms of, of the character of knights. I believe in the um, beginning it was supposed to be. I keep forgetting what's the crack? a dragonist. Yes, but then I believe at some point somebody in Sonic Team just said no, not nice is female. Maybe that was Izuka at some point. I don't know. I think it's I, yeah. Maybe. Nowadays they stick to it's neither. But yeah, there but was, I, th I feel like there was a slip up at one point. Somebody at one point said, no, Nike is meant to be female. And I bet it's because as of this game, because there is a female voice actor. I bet there was some slip up. It's like, no, there's a female voice actor. It's definitely a girl. Yeah, Tails is female, don't you know? <sighs> Tails is Sonic's girlfriend. <laughs> so, you know, you get the tutorial here. Because as much as I hate a lot of the modern age stuff applied to this game, I will admit the original Tight Knights probably needed some kind of. Yeah, teaching mechanism for character that, players. That that um that really threw me because it just there's I mean most games at that at that point did, but it's like fucking hit you go like yeah. figure it out. But knights is something where it's it's very simple once you know what you're doing. But still, I think for the first but few moments it. that it like some explanation of do this doing this makes this happen would have yeah. been slightly helpful. Like, but, once you know what you're doing, it's fine. But getting to that point yeah. takes a little uh, effort, let's say. So how does this control? How does this feel compared to the original? Because I always thought the original was uh, slightly stiff. It's it's it a, a bit looser, a bit easier to play. It feels a little looser, but not as precise. If that makes sense. Okay. Like, I'm struggling a little bit with um, getting through things exactly as well as I want to. That I wouldn't have issue, say, in the original. Mm -hmm. If I want to go straight, um, it's very. Uh, what's the word? Let me have a quick go. Yeah, yeah, go for it. It's very prone to like adjusting up or down a little more than I want it to. This might be because the, the where the TV is and where the sensor bar is is not amazingly configured well. That so would only some... matter if you don't have a nunchuck, you point at the screen for where you go, but oh. it's all analog once the nunchuck's in. Oh, and then, then this game sucks then. Yeah. Hell looping. So this was like, you know, Izuka to this day still pushes to make another night, so I so, think this is one of his like pet projects. Oh, that's something I want to know, because I know obviously Naka was like, I guess, is Naka Knight, 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 Knight's his creator? Maybe because he he was a it was a big thing you know, that was like Naka's like that was Naka's game wasn't it Knights I think in a way, but Izuka was still like really involved back then or at least really believed in it perhaps. Okay, well, so what did what did Izuka do for this game? Um, I think director. Oh really? Yeah, I think yeah he wasn't in his executive producer saddle yet where he's been stuck since like 2010. I don't think. Yeah, I th I think ever since he came back to um Sonic Team, he's just been. Producer, yeah. like he 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 got saddled with the role that you know uh, Naka got. That Naka got. He's like he wasn't able to do anything. He was just like, yeah, do that. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. So now they're doing the thing where it's like, oh, there's objects in the background. You know, if you do the para loop, you can suck them in. You know, and you get your little boost. They're it's too big though. They're too big. Oh, fuck, that. So yeah, like the core gameplay, pretty respect respectable to the. Uh, original design ideas like there's some changes in the main stages we'll get to but you know for the most part it's there. it's not bad yeah it's there yeah I mean I, I it, it still just feels like I wish uh, it was a bit I, I don't know more fluid if that makes sense it still feels yeah. a bit stiffish I what was, the f yeah they play around with this a fair bit I was going to say let's skip some cutscenes for the sake of uh, time but I guess we can't Which, wait doesn't from what I remember in the original, don't the kids become knights? So how were they able to see? How was he able to see knights? Is that a thing in the original? I forget. They 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 do blend, so they're just trying to more clearly illustrate that they're sharing a similar vestige right now. Well, no, I, I get that, but in the original, like I don't remember there being scenes of knights and the kids interacting. I thought the kids just became knights. Oh, you mean so? Like, so like the cutscene where the knight is talking to that boy. I'm like, I think. I think this is how they envisioned it back then. They're just able to more clearly explain that now because they have a plot. But I think the idea was always that you merged with knights, not that you became oh, knights. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But maybe not. I, I don't know if that was like a retcon or something. Maybe. The idea of courage. The that, that sounds like a fucking Digimon power-up. <laughs> the crest of friendship. <laughs> Bimon can only become Flagermon with the idea of courage. <laughs> We need to warp Digivolve with the armor Digi-Egg. The idiot of courage. Unfortunately for Vimon, Davis is the idiot of courage. Ah! So, uh. 
MBM but, will like that. Nah, uh, if he listens to this, which I thought he will. He won't. Uh, was it, was it Paradise. T- wasn't TK always had the courage things, though? Didn't he get the... I don't know. I was, when he, when he, I was just trying to make fun oh, of Davis you. and call him an idiot. Wasn't that what he gets in season two when he just he, he fights Ken? He gets like some power up for Patamon? I don't even remember. I like that, that was probably the crest or something, right? I like that scene where he fights Ken and Ken just like whips him in the face and cuts his cheek and she's like, you ain't fucking nothing. And there's like <laughs> pummels into the ground. Um, let's uh, I'm gonna try putting my nunchuck back in. There we there. go. God, I was worried something else was going to go wrong with the controller today. <laughs> well, that's the that first <laughs> game. <laughs> Enjoy this look at nights. <laughs> Help. I'm, I'm falling. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. Oh. It's like he just patted some dogs in the air. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Well, can't wait for that Photoshop. Why does he have that fucking, like, that random... That, that's not his zipper. I think that's flipping in the in the wind. There's a little chain lock thing. Or... This is a Kingdom Hearts character design. <laughs> but this, no, it can't because there's too much color. Yeah. There's not enough black and gray. This is a KH1. It's fine. Hey, did you want some more plot? Oof, no, I'm good. Oh, oh Chell. That's like thank God I've been looking all over. Oh <laughs> His face is all fucking the owl again. Oh Look at their eyes. Oh, There's Jesus. nothing good about any of this Jesus right now. Christ. Everything on screen right now is bad. This is running at like four frames a second. What is this? That owl fucks shit up. Oh, oh shit, it's it's just it's muscle bound night guy. Look, knights, it's knights! So creepy. I hate the way Nice looks right now. Oh, the face, the eyes. Oh, don't put cutscenes in. How does how does Riala sound in this? I would love if they gave him Shadow's voice. It's like it's real dark and edgy with like a weird kind of accent. It's like if Shadow affected an accent and had a deeper voice, kind of basically. I'm Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. Let's go over here, Sonic. <laughs> go to three. Okay, bye. <laughs> see, okay, see ya. Was so, that the bad guy? What is this guy? What is that? Those birds are very slowly getting away with knights. Well, see, those birds actually tie into the gameplay. As I'll tell you once this game lets me play it. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> How long is it? In, in terms of length, is it... Um, so you know when Sonic Team was real worried about their games being short? Mm-hmm. Well, this is like a six-plus-hour game, maybe, if you do all stories, two in the final. Because every stage has five missions. Mm -hmm. The first mission is a traditional night stage, and that's always fine. There's ones where you have to run around as the kids. There's, like, vehicle things where Knights transforms into, like, a dinghy. (laughs) It looks really creepy. Wait, didn't that happen in the original, though? Didn't he transform into things? It happened, but it wasn't as detailed, so it didn't look as creepy. And also... Creepy is that fucking face? And also, those were short parts of traditional stages and not... Oh, I just fucking spoke to you. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the owl button. My bad. So there's a bit of a tr- change in the traditional gameplay. You know, you still got to run up to nice, but you're chasing the bird to get a key to come back here. You are not building up uh, the blue orbs and everything. Oh, yeah, it's not as satisfying, let's say. And I feel like for the first lap, it's always rubber banding so that you can't catch up to it, but maybe I'm remembering that wrong because I seem to be doing okay. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I could have told you that. <laughs> so is every level, is it just like, is it a race? Or are some levels like, just collect blue shit? Uh, every level's, every traditional level has that mechanic. But it's kind of like the original in that you, if you get the key, you don't want to go in there. You just want to go through here if you want to build up points. Okay. I think you... Or maybe you don't want to get the key immediately, and maybe that's the weird thing. There's some oddity where it's like, why would you do it this way? Um, I haven't played this in a long time, so I don't exactly remember. But like, if you look at this, it's a nice looking game for like the, oh, the wait, start of yeah. 2008. It feels, you know, not as whimsical. Um, the actual inclusion of a sky is probably part of that. But it looks pretty and like kind of dreamy. I like the way a lot of the stages actually look. I forget, when, when did the Wii come out? Was that 2007? November 06. Oh really? Okay, so this is this is a this is about you know this is and this came out when 
like end of 07, early 08, I think. Maybe like December 07. Roughly. So if you go with that rumor from that blog guy or whatever who called the Werehog a year before that worked at Sega, apparently this was like a 360 PS3 game and they fucked Izuka hard. And like most of the way through development, they're like, no, this is going on the Wii. Like you got to downgrade everything. Oh, put really? In, put in motion controls. Like I've never been able to verify that, but apparently that happened. Ah, oh, dude, what they, is this? They fucked him hard because apparently this game was actually a lot better before they made him do that. It still would have had like the story and stuff, but part of like all the oddities with this game that crop up are like... Why the Sega kid? Because the, uh, that's the rumor that what happened with uh, Rise of Lyric. Yeah. Sega's... Sega. <laughs> fucking Sega, man. That fucking sucks. And I guess that kind of happened with um, Yuji Naka with his, was it, Rodeo thing? There was that thing where it was... Oh, Rodeo the Sky Soldier? Yeah, it was, it was like, it was forced to be put on the Wii U, but he kept saying that the, the Wii version was the one he worked on. And, like, yeah, that's as the, soon as that game came out, he tweeted, he's like, please play the Wii please version. Please play the Wii version, yeah, that's the one I actually worked on. Um, yeah. I don't know, I, like, Izuki gets a lot of shit. Like, a lot of shit. I can't help but feel bad for him most You know of the what, time. No, I, I will be... Because he seems like a nice I guy. I will be completely honest with you. Uh, I think uh, if I had to choose between which Sonic has been better under which producer, I think the, the franchise has been far better under Izuka's watch than Naka's. Yes, I, I would. Have um, to agree. And yeah, there's been some shit games under um, Izuka's watch, but there was plenty of shit games under Naka. So I'm, I'm, you know, I think yes, though. He, from what you read, certain things where Izuka seems somewhat like Miyamoto stuck in his his ways about certain things that I wish would be changed, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, a lot of, you know, there are a lot of baffling things he does that make me go, why the fuck would you do this with the series? But yes. like you said, most of the time, better run, at least more consistent. You do get your forces and stuff, but yeah, we we'll get. You know what? I'll say on the, if we we ignore lyric, we ignore the Sonic Boom games because those aren't <laughs> Sonic Team. Yeah, yes, but like they've had far less glitchy. They, 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 you know, you, you can argue about the how fun they are to play. But just on a technical level, they're better under Izuka's watch than they are under Naka's watch. Yeah. Um, and like, and Naka was a master programmer, so you'd think he'd be the one that makes shit good. Yeah. And like, break the illusion here. Uh, the South by Southwest panel was yesterday. Yes. Like, if you look at Izuka when he talks about Sonic, even now, he still gets this huge smile on his face. Like, he's not, it doesn't seem jaded. He like, clearly has I wanna, love I for this root, franchise. I want to root for Izuka, is what I'm saying. I support. I, 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 you know, I, again, I have, no, I have no problem with Izuka. I just wish that, you know, he'd, he'd adapt certain things. But yeah. I'd be if he stayed on as producer. I know, I know, David T. Lurker has a couple of issues, <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with, with uh, Izuka. And I think after this boss, we'll call it a day yes. or night. I, I really want to get to the parts that show why this game is not so great, but maybe that's a good tease for the full LP we'll hopefully do someday. Yes, but if Chris wants to record that under his own will, because I ain't, I ain't fucking this. <laughs> oh, no, it's got to be live. We've got to drink. Anyway. Okay, okay yeah, fine. we'll do that. If we, can, we can do it as either a stream or just a live LP. We can do that. Yeah, but I really like um, everything going on artistically here. I think for a boss, this is kind of like old school nights in that it doesn't make a lot of sense immediately and you got to deal with mm. there was a boss like this in the original game where you had to bounce that opera lady to the side yeah I'll be honest like, I, I bosses think, aren't the best in this game but they're like well, interesting to look that's at that's par for the course I'm not, I think overall I like Knights I don't get the insane love for it mm -hmm. you don't get but, my love for it no I mean I get, I get why people like it yeah. I don't get why people are like this is one of the best games ever made the bosses fucking suck in Knights <laughs> Like I I, yeah. I I like I like the Rihanna boss fight, but they That's generally the they generally suck. Which, to be fair, is a Sonic Team staple to begin with. Most yes. Sonic bosses suck. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, thank you for joining us on this episode of All Stars Game, where we just complained about everything, but then defended Izuka. <laughs> we give with one hand and take with the other. Um, so uh, please join us on our next game, which I'm not sure what it is. Okay, bye. Oh God, there's more story. So much more story. Not there enough for us to write. <laughs> Thank God.